Hi friends, this is Rakesh and today we are going to see the stress distribution inside a thick cylinder. This problem can be simplified by taking the assumption that this is an axisymmetric analysis wherein the length has no influence on the problem. Right? So for that, uh, go for the preprocessor first of all, uh, select the preferences and select the structural and press OK. Sorry, everything was selected. So go for structural. Say, deselect everything because we don't want everything and we want only structural say ok right and go for the preprocessor and then first we have to put up the element type say element type say add edit delete and add and you select the solid 8 node 183 element say ok and then go for the options because you are taking an assumption that it is an axisymmetric analysis you should change this uh, change the behavior of this uh, element say plane 83 go for options instead of element behavior uh, to plane sets change it to axisymmetric and say okay and say okay and say close right then uh, go for the material properties go for the material models and uh, go for the structure linear elastic and isotropic material right and the angst modulus is 2e5 banks modulus is 2e5 and the poison ratio is 0 0.3 0 0.3 right and press ok right we have given the uh, material properties so go for material say exit we have specified all the material properties as well then you have to draw the you have to model the element you have to model the geometry for that go for the modeling say create then go for areas then go for rectangle and say by dimensions and here you give the dimensions right you will give the dimensions but i will give uh, here uh, both x coordinates of the st uh, starting and end point and the y coordinates of the starting and end, uh, end point here you have to specify so first one is 30 comma 50 and then this y is 30 comma 70 right 30 comma 70 and press ok so an area has been created now what we have to do we have to convert this geometry into a finite element geometry that means into number of nodes and elements number of nodes and elements for that what I will do is I will go for the meshing say take the mesh tool and I will put as this is uh, I will put the select the lines right I will select all these four lines and press ok and now I want to divide this by using the element edge length which will be 2 and so for that I will say ok now again click on this to raise the hidden mesh tool that is behind the that went behind the window so here you select the area say mesh and select this area say ok right so the meshing has been done that means we have uh, converted the uh, design geometry into finite element model finite element model now what I what we have to do is we have to apply the boundary conditions for that go for the uh, loads say define loads say apply structural displacement on lines here because i am constraining this lines so i have selected this line say ok and i am going to fix u ui right ui because ui only right then what i have to do i have to place the same type of constraint here as well so for that we will see a new method for that what here this is uh, this and this line are this boundary conditions are symmetric. So for that what I will do is Go for this uh, Structural displacement say symmetric boundary conditions and I will select online and I will select this line Right and say okay. So what happens is you can see the symbol success as APS the same boundary condition Will be present here also right Now we have to apply the pressure in the interior phase. So for that go for the pressure say online say select this line and press ok and you enter a constant 40 
mega pascals of loop and press ok now it has uh, now uh, the, it is time to solve the problem so for that we are going to use we we'll select the solution say solve and say current load step say ok right. and uh, we got the solution so first of all uh, we'll see what is the uh, stress in the radial direction radial stress right what is the radial stress so that means you have to go for this general preprocessing say list results right say list results say a nodal solution go for stress x component of stress and say ok right i will plot the results on the uh, window so graphics window so go for the nodal solution go for stresses x component of stress a ok so this is the maximum stress and the minimum stress that is occurring right so this is about the radial stresses so if you want the hoop stresses you have to see in the z direction have to see in the z direction for that go for the nodal solution instead of x you select z components of stress say ok and this appears this appears right z component of stress appears then uh, if you want a longitudinal stress which will be remaining constant you can just say uh, normal solution uh, select y component of stress say ok so it, it remains constant right it remains constant you can also list those results yes, but i want what uh, what i want is uh, results for the hoop stresses the radial stresses and everything i want to know how uh, the hoop stresses and the radial stresses are varying with respect to the thickness of the cylinder so for that uh, i will select some of the nodes which are my of my interest for that what i will do is i will go for the plot say i want only nodes and here i only see the nodes and i go for the select and go for entities and put nodes and by pick number i pick and say okay and instead of single selection i will take a box selection and draw a box around the interest uh, the nodes of my interest nodes of my interest and say okay right and now what i will do is i will say go to plot and say nodes right uh, so i can only plot the selected nodes here also i want to see the node numbering for that i will what i will do is i will go for the plot controls say sim uh, numbering and uh, select this node numbers on and say ok right and i am interested in data points uh, that means uh, the pressure uh, value from this nodes 1 4 6 like that so for that what i will do is again go for select entities go a number the nodes by number pick and say ok and i will select alternative nodes alternative nodes which are of my interest so that I can uh, take the data values from this uh, point selected nodes and plot it over a graph to find the variation of the radial stresses as well as the so here uh, my interest is to plot uh, data for the alternative nodes alternative nodes for that what I will do is go for the select entities say select ok and I will select this alternative entities which are of my interest right 18 20 and 2 right say so, okay and now i will plot out all the selected nodes right so 1 4 6 8 10 okay right then uh, what i will do is in order to plot a graph first what you have to do is you have to go for the you have to define a path for that uh go to the you know, path uh, operations say define path and uh, here i will select by node and i will select the first node and the last node and say ok and i will give the path name as r say ok and here uh, it shows the what is the path generated then now what i have to what i will do is i have to go for the map onto the path and here i will give the label for the data or the graph which i am going to plot and I, I want stresses and I want the stresses in the x direction which means it's a radial stresses right say ok now again I also want the hoop stresses so for that uh, I will again create another uh, 
map onto the map results onto the path and say HD and the stress uh, I will select in the Z direction say OK now what I will do is go for the path plot path item on the graph and select this two and say OK so here you can see it is varying like this right it is varying like this so this is how you can draw a graph and again if uh, you can go for the select say select everything and if you want to see the total uh, right if you want to see the total cylinder rather than only a single part you can say go for the plot controls say style and go to symmetric expansion and go for uh, 2d axis symmetric say uh, full expansion say okay now go for the plot volumes right so plot areas go for the uh, general post processing uh, plot results deformity normal solution right say okay so here you can see the total cylinder as well the total cylinder rather than a simple this simple uh, uh, yeah here you can see the uh, total cylinder rather than a simple square thing right so thank you friends